If there's one thing that I hate about a Raytheon, it's that tail. I just hate seeing that backflip. <laughs> that backflip pissed me off. <laughs> Every time I see it, I don't even care if I get hit with it, man. It just pisses me off. And yeah, she is one of the monsters I struggle with. I told y'all, there's a lot of monsters I struggle with when I first started the game, man. And we're we going to go through all of them. We're going to talk about all of them. But Raytheon is that damn tail, and she's very aggressive. So she fainted me a lot of times just catch me with the tail uh one thing that caught me off guard was that uh that three burst fireball like right now she just shooting that one and then when she get agitated like she'll throw three of them out in just random directions and like i used to get caught by this shit all the time just man i be ready to rage quit <laughs> rage quit playing against a right thing. But I will say now it's not a problem, you know, since I know a move set is no big deal. You know, we we getting close to the monster that just truly pisses me off to this day. But y'all just gonna have to hang in there and let the episodes go by and we gonna come across that monster. So with that being said, put it in the comments. Which monster you think pisses me off to this day? That I still struggle with to this day. Put it down in the comments. But let's get back to Raytheon. If I had slicer ammo, I would have been cut that tail off. I'm not even going to lie to you. I would be spamming the hell out of that slicer ammo to get that tail off. Usually that's the first thing I go for when I fight a Raytheon is that tail. Once I get that tail off, I'm golden. You know, but with light bow gun, I really don't have to get a tail off, period. Because I don't have to really get too close to her. Uh... Even with spread, it's not bad fighting her up close. Cause I, I just love spread, man. You know, I've I play with Pierce all through Monster Hunter Rise. Just tearing through the fucking game, man. Like Pierce is just that damn strong. So I come to where and I'm like, you know what? I wanna try spread a little bit more. Cause I did try it in Rise. Uh, and I liked it a lot. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna come to world and focus on spread. Now, I also want to say this. We do end up switching over to the Defender set later on. Now, all these videos, they old to me. You know, they new to y'all, but they old to me. I'm already in Iceborne right now. But I just want to let it be known that we do switch over to the Defender set because I was running out of money. Like, I was crafting guns, crafting armor, and... Like that, that account. <laughs> Check that account, and <laughs> that motherfucker said zero. So I was like, "We have to go ahead and make some changes." <laughs> Luckily, I had some trade-in items that I hadn't sold yet, so I went and done that. I went and crafted the defender weapon, put on the armor, and I was like, "All right, now let's let's keep pushing." <laughs> Cause for a minute I was like, man, I done fucked up. <laughs> I done fucked up. Ran out of money. I'm broke. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Can't even afford to eat, guys. <laughs> man, if you can actually give golden eggs to other players, I'd probably have my brother hop on here and be like, man, look. Let me hold about five golden eggs, and I promise you, I'll get back to you. I'll get back to you tomorrow. I promise. But look, man, that's going to be it for me. Y'all know what to do. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Cut on that notification bell because I got more coming. And with that, I'll see y'all later.
materials from a captured monster. However, you will receive more rewards than usual once the quest is over.